Yo folks, this is your man Takisa back with another review for y'all here. This one actually is uh, pretty surprising. Um, honestly, I did not think I was going to be covering these because, uh, well, <laughs> when you see the shoe, you'll see what I'm talking about. It is a lot going on with the shoe. Very festive. It has a lot of high energy to it. And when you first look at them as a reviewer, it's, it's, it's kind of hard because you're kind of like, you know what? I don't know if I'm gonna cover those right there. I don't know if I'm gonna be sporting them. I don't think I'm gonna rock them. So when you look at it from a personal perspective, it's like, all right, I, I don't know. But from a review, I was like, you know what? I'm up for the challenge. Um, I don't mind actually taking a look at these, which we're doing a classic style review today of the Air Jordan 1 J Baldwin's. As you can see here on the frame or on the screen here, I'm just gonna stay quiet for a second. Yeah, definitely leave your comments in the comment section or hit me up on Instagram. There's information is right there on the screen as you can see. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's look at these a little closer here overall. Now the material itself, as far as on the upper, kind of reminds me of the sustainable uh, materials for the uh, Air Jordan 1 Crater that came out um, and then of course the Community Gardens or Lemon Wash which I'm just making sure that you guys and ladies can see the picture on the screen you see the shoes I'm talking about in comparison um, yeah these are for my boy um, he asked me about these and I was like you know what sure I, mean, I don't mind uh, let's see if I can get this out just a little bit cool I don't mind uh, you know getting them for you is my whole thing about it, folks, is that if you're going to spend, you know, the money on the shoes, because there's so many other things that's going on. You got your bills, you got you know, your family members, friends, whatever. You're just trying to make sure you maintain so you're not, you know, broke. <laughs> so if you are going to spend money on these shoes, you know, whether it's the J Balvin's or any particular Jordan shoe or Adidas or whatever, you definitely want to make sure that you're uh, saving money at the same time, if at all possible. So that's where these alternative options come into play. And that's, um, that's something I can get behind, honestly, because with my massive collection, it didn't cost much. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I, and I sincerely tell everybody who asked me, my family members and friends, like, yo, it was like thousands of th uh, dollars I was spending. <laughs> Forget about it. I'm not be doing this. You see the exposed foam on the tongue? And then on the back here, we got the J Balvin smiley face with the <laughs> lightning bolts for eyes uh <laughs> i know while i'm saying this kind of like man these jumps is crazy that's all i keep thinking um and then we see the insole which of course has the lightning eyes smiley face uh and then the insole color looks more like a volt color here so let's put these down for a second and we'll put them right here and we're gonna get into the basic information to shoot real quick before I keep talking about it, so give me a moment here. So this particular style, um, best way you can look at it <clears throat> as far as actual colors and, and everything on it, um, well, let's let's go into it real quick. They originally unveiled during a halftime performance on America's uh, biggest stage, which is, of course, football, <laughs> NFL. Um, this exclusive AJ1 uh, uses an eclectic mix of colors, to say the least, the textures and graphics to reimagine the classic silhouette the image of Columbia, Colombian recording artist Jay Balvin. Now, rough soon overlays blurred the design's typically crisp design lines. A spectrum of neon hues inject the look with an aggressive burst of energy. Um, yeah, <laughs> customizable graphics include Balvin's signature smiley face, um, puts a distinctive twist on the shoe, uh, excuse me, on the tongue. Uh, and then, of course, with similar visuals adorning the shoes, insole, and heel, and lace up in. Um, well, no, basically, well, let's take a look here. Yeah, you can definitely lace up and, you know, march to the beat of your own drum with this one. I mean, there's really no other way to put it. Um, <laughs> this is one of those collectible, colorful collectibles, the uh, Colores y Vibras, or vibrant colors that you would see in this particular shoe. Uh, let's go ahead and take these out. I mean... I know my friend don't mind because he wants me to get into the basic design of the shoe. So you see this here? We got the nice little uh, tabs to go on the heel itself, um, which I think are cool. 
you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, and I get it. A lot of people that probably watching this, like, wow, these things are just all over the place. But I mean, sometimes it doesn't have to be the same uh, cookie cutter design. You know, we take the basic silhouette, and then we, as a people, can improve on it and bring to it our own unique spin on the uh, Air Jordan 1 silhouette overall, which I think that's what Jay Baldwin did. They were just like, look, create your own shoe, go nuts. <laughs> we just don't want to change the overall shape of the shoe, but other than that, have fun. So you got these little things here that can go on the heel, right? So let's take a look here. So let's um, switch one out. We got <laughs> a tiny basketball here, so let's take that off here. Put his uh, signature face on here. See, and there you go. Now I'm gonna show my boy that there is uh, a duplicate design. So you have this one here, which is the we're looking at the left shoe here. The other one was the right. So this is the flash design. So you got two of those, and then if you wanted to put two of the basketballs on there, you got two of those, right? Oop. Make sure it gets in frame, cool. And then, of course, you got your signature one here with the Jordan Jumpman. So yeah. Very vibrant co colors. Uh, definitely one of the things that uh, you wanna look for in a J Baldwin shoe is the pink midsole. Now, there have been uh, complaints that I've seen on these particular shoes. I'm just gonna put it right here while I talk about it. And move it up. Yeah, that's cool right there. Cool. So there's been some complaints about this particular shoe where the midsole was like a, a bright white, um, even one that was kind of like a light sail, which is weird because that's not how Jay Balvin designed it. It was actually supposed to be like a light pink to go with the uh, laces, you know? And that's a good thing about this particular one here because laces, which are, you know, pink as well, these are light pink. They're not as like a dark pink like, um, like you would see on your Travis Scott's. Air Jordan ones. This is a, a much lighter color here. Now you have your other laces, which of course we're looking at the white lace here, which is what's up. And then we have our Volt Gold laces. <laughs> and I only say that because um, when the original release came out for the Volt Golds, well, hey, we're not going to get into that until I actually get the shoe, um, which I may or may not get. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. I mean, heck, I got these right here, right? So um, <laughs> Volt Golds are definitely much more timid compared to these, uh, you know, Fuego shoes right here. Now, some people will say these are basura, but I, will, I don't agree with that because I respect anybody's choice as far as the way they would design the shoe for themselves and for their fans. That's what it's about at the end of the day. You know what I mean? You, fans are happy, you're happy. You know, that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that. Let's look at the left shoe right quick, make sure they are matching. On the tongue, there are they though? I don't think they are. Nope, you got your jump man on the left side. You got your J Balvin insignia, smiley face, watchman looking <laughs> uh, face on the right. And then on this one here, you got your J Balvin smiley face and then a mixture of the jump man on the other one here. So that's cool. Oh, and of course we would wanna look at the, the box right quick. So I'm just gonna put these here for a second. Here's the box. So of course the supplier definitely made sure to get the right type box on here. Or at least the right type uh, box top. You got your tag here. Yeah, yeah, my friend wears a size 13. So if y'all are looking for a 13, then definitely, you know, pop that. And let's see. Of course we got the Jumpman, Nike, to Oregon. Air sole, and then my favorite part, of course, the made in China for the box. Not much more to really get into with these, so of course, just to make sure that you folks know, this is the lateral side here, and we have a needle, medial side. This is the back of the shoe. Your front, which <laughs> put that, tag, uh, that tongue back in there, okay? And of course, the outsole, which definitely tends to have a good amount of stars on the bottom over there, and again, that's best for traction with this particular shoe, which is the Air Jordan 1. Um, but yeah, let me know what y'all think. I'll leave the comments in the section or just hit me up Instagram. Information right there on the screen, as you can see. Um, my name is Taikisa, and I will get into the next review for y'all. But uh, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.
Won't stop rocking till he clock. Ah, right, damn. One more thing I forgot to show y'all right quick. It's the paper. So that's all. I'm, I'm packing up the shoes now, so. <laughs> Just showing y'all the paper that I forgot to show y'all before. On the inside, you got the stamp here for the inside of the top, but no anti mold stick or anything like that. All right, peace. Won't stop rocking till he clocked on a gazillion grand.